Taylor Brinkley Cook is a model and influencer, and if she looks a little familiar, <laughs> familiar, that's because she bears a striking resemblance to her mom, supermodel icon Christy Brinkley. Yeah, but Taylor is making a name mm -hmm. for herself, and she's here to tell us more. Taylor, we're so happy you're here. Hi, Taylor, thank you so much for having you? me. I'm good. So was modeling just the route that you knew you were going to take since you were younger? It really wasn't. Oh, um, it wasn't. I really <laughs> did not w even want to model. Um, it was something that you know, fell into my lap and I was so grateful for it because I got to learn so much through it. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, the people in this industry are so talented. So I'm really lucky. What to road were you thinking you were going to go down? What did you want to do before all this? I studied photography. So yeah. I was very into like the arts and being behind the camera. Yeah. But actually modeling, I mean, I got to absorb so much of that knowledge from the most amazing photographers. And sure. Artists and hair and like yeah. everyone on those sets. It was definitely a great experience. Mm -hmm. And you also got to absorb some from your mom, which mm -hmm. I know must be both beautiful and also kind of intimidating because yeah. yeah. she's but you said she taught you two really important things mm -hmm. about how to be a person yeah I mean um I think that her number one thing that she always told me to be was to be grateful and gracious mm -hmm. and she always said that you know these doors are going to open for you but it's your job to keep them open so I really stuck to that and I made it a priority to every room that I walked into be very grateful and really say hello to everyone and you know absorb the knowledge that everyone has to give on these sets mm -hmm. and yeah. How did your mom parent? Jen and I both have young kids and we want I mean you're obviously such a well-adjusted lovely human being and so Thank kind you. but what else did your mom do? Was she strict? How did did she say you're going to get a job? Like how did she bring you up? She was very supportive of any avenue that I would yeah. go down <laughs> as I grew up. Cool. And, you know, she was one of those moms that was like, if you're going to do it, do it with me. So yeah. she wanted to experience everything with me. She wanted yeah. me to be open and tell her things. And I think that really allowed for a very beautiful um, space that, you know, to grow up as, as yeah. a young woman. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like being heard and seen is, is mm -hmm. like the best thing we can give our kids. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I think that it's just creating that warm space for them to grow, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that we love about you, and as Hoda was saying, you are so lovely and gracious. You came in and said hey to everybody. Yeah. Is, <laughs> but you're also honest. Yeah. You've talked uh, in your social media post about great things, but also some of the harder things about being human. And yeah, struggles. Yeah. Talk yeah. about why, why you talk about mental health and mm -hmm. other things that are important to you. I've always um, loved to be open about my mental health because I find that the more that you speak about these scary things, the less scary they feel. Mm -hmm. And also it sort of gets rid of the stigma surrounding mental health. I mean, I know that everyone deals with something hard in their life and we're mm -hmm. all going through a secret struggle. And I mm -hmm. find that it's sort of like a monster under the bed. You know, it's like if you just look under the bed yeah. and you, you know there's no monster. So it's like speaking about it and making it less scary, I find is really helpful for me. And I also find that, you know, hopefully it will inspire someone else that also deals with similar issues. How do you tolerate people who are unkind, like even online or wherever, because a lot of kids deal with it in a different, on a different scale, but everyone's dealing with it. Yeah. Everyone, young kids, kids your age. Yeah. But how do you, how do you deal with, with those people online who are unkind? I think that people that are unkind, you have to pity them in a sense, you know, because uh, hurt people hurt people. Yeah. So you do just want to be aware that it's not coming from a place of genuinely disliking you. I mean, maybe they do dislike you, <laughs> yeah. but it is from a place of their own hurt regarding yeah. themselves. Yeah. So you really only have to wish the best for those people yeah. and continue moving on your path. It takes a lot of so true. To and to yeah. kind of ignore that. You the... can't please yeah, everyone. You, can. you know, you can't. So you might as well just try and please yourself. Yeah, well, that's good. Speaking of bringing a little light, yes. you are doing this with your new company, mm -hmm. Sacred and Divine. Yes. Tell us a little bit mm -hmm. about it. I am so excited to launch this company. I mean, I've been working on it for a while and it has just aligned with everything that we just spoke about, about, you know, being open about mental health. And over the pandemic, I mean, I was dealing with probably the worst parts of my anxiety. And my therapist actually told me, she was like, just take these walks, put your phone down and be completely aware and observant mm -hmm. of your surroundings. And I would do that. And it created this mindful, very grounding moment yeah. for me throughout mm -hmm. my day to just notice like, you know, oh, like there's a cloud, there's a sign. <laughs> and I always saw these numbers, these repetitive numbers. And I started learning about them like 111 and 333 yeah. three, three, and 222. Yeah. And they're, they're these angel numbers. So uh -huh. they really are these universal signs that sort of give us a little bit of 
hope. And mm. I started seeing them everywhere. So it was like a beautiful moment for me of connection. So these candles and these necklaces are sort of bringing in those mindful grounding moments into your everyday life. Wow. Oh, I well, love that. Congratulations Sailor. on yeah. this and on everything. Yeah. Uh, we're so happy that you visited with us today. Thank you so much Thank for you. having me.